Wilson. Yellow or red? It's going to be red for Wilson. So the Rapids down to 10 men. Danny Wilson sent off. We go down a goal early, and then we go down a man early in the second half. Um, had to make a bunch of changes. I, I was coming off the bench that game, and you know, it was me, Mikey, and Nico coming in, and you know, we just had this confidence about us when we came in. It was like, you know, no fear at all whatsoever. You're down a man, so what? You, you have nothing to lose trying to, to go win this game, and I think that's the attitude that we brought. And you know, once we came onto the field, we tried to cause havoc when we did get the ball. Lewis trying to find some magic. Sandman Miller did he trip up Barrios? No, we play on. So they are now checking for a PK. I think he's going to give a PK. Decision has been yeah. made. Yeah. Penalty yeah. for the Rapids. And Cole Bassett steps up to the spot. He can. It's tied in the Twin Cities. Cole Bassett slams home the penalty. And the Rapids, with 10 men, have found an equalizer. I think we were about to make a change before we got the penalty kick, uh, and it was gonna be our final change. So I started to make my way back to the bench. Well, we got the penalty kick scored. So now it's 1-1, we, we saved that, that last change. So I thought maybe I'll come in to close things down, you know, and, and just get a point out of this game. But do they have a winner in them? Throwing across, Barrios! Yes, sir! Michael Barrios, a super sub! I got called to come in, so I made my way down to the to the fourth official, and we scored. Michael Barrio scored to make it two to one. So we're all kind of going crazy. I ran down to celebrate on the corner flag with him, but then I had to run back to the fourth official to get into the game. You know, so it was it was just an emotional roller coaster. Drew Moore into the match. This is Drew Moore's 400th appearance in Major League Soccer, eighth player in MLS history to 400 appearances. Uh, and then when I was able to actually come into the game, you know, I had to calm the nerves a little bit and calm the nerves of the guys on the field because we still had six or seven minutes of, of work to make sure that we could seal the three points. Trusty gets there first for the Rapids, takes a look up, and he'll fire it up for Barrios. Heads it around Miller, Barrios in the space. Estevez, he's going to walk it in. You betcha. Three goals and three points for the Rapids. To score the third goal, you know, Lucas Estevez, and you know, at that point it's done. That you know, we're going to win the game. We're going to get three points. It was just, again, uh, the, the cherry on top of just a, uh, like I said, an emotional roller coaster. I think that was special for for all of us. You know, coming onto the field and and helping the team come back, and then uh, in the locker room after it was special. I mean, Drew hit his 400th appearance that game. I don't think it could have gone much better. There you go. Oh my God! Look at that jersey. Here's a guy that played for us at the U-20s coming to the game, Drew Moore. And he's a good one for a future player. He's got a really high upside on Indiana. Drew, congratulations. 400 games is a lot. And all it says, apart from the fact that you're really old, is that you're really durable. And uh, it's the result of being one of the best professionals there's ever been in this league. We love you so much. We're so proud of you. We love you so much. We're so proud of you. You're the best soccer player ever. You're the best soccer player ever. <laughs> oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you to... Everybody who's supported me, Shelby, Joey, and Ryan, my, my family who give up a lot so I can do this, and my parents. It's pretty special, and, and hopefully the journey's not, not going to end here in the, in, in the too near future, but uh, I appreciate it. After that game, y'all are going to celebrate. Oh, you do it! Oh! Tuesday! Come on! Let's go! Go 
Well done. Well done, boys. Come on, boys. The sun is setting on the 2021 regular season. The Rapids can confirm their spot in the postseason tonight with victory against Portland Timbers. The important thing is getting three points tonight. Third place Colorado Rapids against fourth place Portland Timbers. The Rapids all time sit on 299 regular season wins. We're just talking about going into the break, almost. Galvan finds Dominic Baggi. Two goals in two games, and the Rapids lead inside Dick Sporting Goods Park. Marios now stepping forward. Change forthcoming for the Rapids. Chance here, Rubio! Diego Rubio with the header. And the Rapids have doubled their advantage. And the playoffs have just taken a huge step closer. And there it is, the final whistle. The Rapids are in the playoffs. It's been confirmed. A 2-0 win against Portland Timbers. Rapids fans, please welcome the Special Olympics unified teams to the field. I've said this before, this is the best program we run hands down, no matter what we do on the field at the MLS level. Just seeing these athletes out there, seeing the fans staying behind to support them and what it means to the athletes and the families. It's an incredible, it's an incredible program. It's an incredible night. It's great to see both set of players having so much fun, enjoying themselves and really just bringing what it's all about to the sport here. Just enjoying it, having fun and being with their friends. I've been with this program for a long time and it is one of my favorite programs ever. It's just great to see the MLS and the Rapids really support our Special Olympics community. It's great to have this bigger platform. It's just super meaningful. I think after um, coming out of COVID, getting together again, really being able to play as a team and get to make some new friends has been really refreshing. It's been amazing coaching these guys. Everybody's just been so joyful to be out on the field. It's great. Uh, it's my first year doing this. I'm so happy that, that I met my new teammates and, and, and my opponents as well. Michael, it's your first season with us. What's it feel like to be in front of all these fans tonight? Oh, it's amazing. It's a blessing. I love it. I love the experience. I just, I love all my teammates. You know, I couldn't ask for anything more. I think over the year, um, we have really gelled as a team and we have gotten better with each practice and with each game. I mean, last game we went into PKs and here we are winning without PKs. So it's just been really great. Ultimately, this is what it's about. It's about getting out there. It's about playing football, playing soccer, being with their friends, you know, actually being active there. So it was wonderful to get it back up and running this year. We're thrilled with it. It's gone incredibly well. And again, it's just been another fantastic season.